Hi. Well, if you're here, you want to know how to write to your grandmother. <sighs> Step one, you need to grab yourself a cute drink. Be right back. Step one, check. Step two, grab your supplies. You're going to need a pencil with a cute eraser, some scratch paper, get multiple. Don't forget about your cute drink. You'll need a cute pen, a ballpoint pen, a white out, so in case you make mistakes, folder paper or whatever paper you're actually going to send to your grandma, and then a cute dog. Step three, take a cute sip. Really think about what you're going to write. I mean, it's your family, it's your grandma after everything, but you don't want to be talking about nonsense. You want to make it worthwhile. You want to update her on what's going on. Let her know that you're okay. You were not affected by the California fires and let her know that you're worried about her and all of the disasters that has happened in Japan, I think. I'm not very up to date with it because I just heard yesterday that she's okay. But anyway, think about all those things. Step three. You're going to brain vomit on this piece of paper, however that you want. Um, but for me, I don't really remember how to write most of the kanji. So I write everything in hiragana so that I can write everything that I'm thinking about right away. And in the process, make sure you enjoy it. This isn't homework, you know. You obviously have not written Japanese in a really long time and have not articulated your thoughts in Japanese for a long time, but enjoy your cute drink and just word vomit, whatever you want to say to your grandma that lives in Japan. Okay, step three, go. So I've completed step three, finished my cute drink, and I've written four very scribbled up pages in hiragana and some kanji that I can remember and step four is to sleep on it as this cutie is also trying to do but I'm bothering him and this cutie is always doing because she's much older than him step five step five you're gonna look through your letter after your good night's rest and you're going to Rewrite the hiragana verbs and applicable nouns in kanji by looking at the Japanese word or English word, English equivalent via uh, tanoshijapanese.com. This is a free website that I was able to find um, to figure out how to write certain words to kanji because I don't, my kanji level is second grade Japanese, if that. So this is how the site looks like. You have the Japanese bar and the English bar, and basically you just write um, whatever word. If it's in hiragana and you wanted to write in kanji, you could do that. If you know the English word and you don't know how to say it in Japanese, you can put it in this part and then it'll translate it for you. And it has different options that I'll give. Like this is just an example, so it's just the one, but you know what I mean. And after that, rewrite the whole letter. So this is the end of step five, where I circled all of the hiragana that you can change into kanji. And this took me like, man, that took me forever. So if I use the same word or something, I just circle it. I don't rewrite it again. Step number six. Final thing you're going to do is rewrite everything that you wrote as neatly as you can with a ballpoint pen or whatever pen into the paper, onto the paper that you're actually going to send to a botchan. If you make a mistake, that's okay. Use your white out, but you did all this work, taking all these hours to perfect your letter. If you need to add a couple more things, please do so because it's going to take three forever stamps to send your letter to Japan. So make it worth it. Print out a few photos of the dogs, of the trip that you went to, whatever you talked about into on your letter and put those in send it and it should take about maybe three days to get to Japan.